The Corsair Carbide Air 540 High Airflow Cube Case is great for air cooling or liquid cooling. Check the link in the video description to learn more. Welcome to an unboxing that's actually more of a teaser for some upcoming content that we have planned. This is the ADATA SX900 2.5 inch SATA 3 6 gigabit per second solid state drive. It has NCQ Smart Command queuing, compatible with SATA 3 gigabit per second. It is optimized for AHCI mode and it will run in RAID, which has something to do with this. Do, do, do. More on that in a moment. Okay, okay, back to this, back to this, okay. Uh, Sandforce driven, so it uses a Sandforce controller, so that means it is very optimized for client type workloads where you a lot of the data that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis is going to be compressible as opposed to non-compressible, so it uses advanced algorithms in the SSD itself in order to not only make it operate faster than the controller, or faster than the NAND flash itself could operate if it was just writing to it on its own, but it also increases the lifetime of it because it actually commits fewer writes to the NAND. So remember, every SSD has a built-in maximum overall life cycle that it will eventually wear out in, and Sandforce drives, particularly if you work with a lot of compressible data, will last longer than another equally built SSD. It's shock resistant, just like all SSDs, supports trim, and comes with a Cronus Trimage HD, which is uh, actually one of the better, uh, one of the better cloning applications out there that we've used as far as included ones with SSDs go. So kudos to Adata for using that. All right, accessories. It includes a spacer because it uses a seven millimeter form factor. So if you have a, a laptop that's only compatible with nine and a half mil, you can go ahead and install that spacer on there. It includes a three and a half inch desktop adapter with Adata branding on it. It also has like kind of some texture on it. So maybe it's, uh, you know, reinforced or something. There you go. So that'll make it compatible with your desktop. And it has a beautiful brushed black finish on it. I actually really like that. It looks very striking. So there's a SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second interface on the back, and it is made in Taiwan, and apparently someone gets a, an Acronis TrueMid HD key. Good job, you get that now. So, what are we going to be doing? Why do we need four of them? We are going to be doing a test on the Z87 platform, where we take these SSDs and run one, two, and this is where the maximum would have been before on Z77 because there were only two Intel native SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. So we're going to try one, two, three, and four drives in RAID 0 to see where the benefit actually tapers off in terms of, uh, of how many drives you can keep adding to a RAID 0 before you run into a bottleneck that is between the actual SATA chipset itself and the rest of the system, whereas, because I mean, remember, you can have as many SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports as you want, but if you're actually flooding them all with data at the same time, then there might be another internal bottleneck somewhere else on the board. So we're going to find out when we reach that limit, and we'll also be using them to do a RAID 0 setup guide, which is really simple, but hey, it's helpful to have video guides for pretty much anything. I like following along with them. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and teaser. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Don't forget to like this video if you like what we're going to be doing with these drives, and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any other suggestions for what we could do with four 256 gig SSDs. That's actually something else that's unique about these drives is they don't over provision as much. Normally you'd find a 240 gig Sandforce drive and these are the full 256. So you do have to use a higher quality NAND if you don't want to over provision as much. And uh, remember guys that over provisioning is something that you can do manually simply by creating a 240 gig partition on this drive. So it gives you the flexibility to short stroke it or, or over provision it yourself if you want to or use the whole capacity if you do prefer.